Right before the start of hurricane season, the state fire marshal thinks Louisiana is in a better position to save lives if the electricity goes out and people power on their generators. A state law change prompted by Fox 8 investigations after Hurricane Ida and a federal agency's new recommendations both help with combating carbon. The storm getting bigger. These winds, they keep picking up. Have ordered a mandatory evacuation because hurricane they season can be stressful. For people living in southeast Louisiana, I'll turn it on. Lynn Moore and her family. Okay, okay, I got it. Wash my hands. Is that the way to do it? Are no exception. We feel a lot of anxieties. We discuss whether or not we're going to leave town even for a small one. But this year, despite the trauma they endured with Hurricane Ida. We woke up at about 2.30 in the morning to um, the alarm screaming, literally screaming. Warning, carbon monoxide. Moore says she feels better protected and ready for any potential storms. Do you think we're safer at the beginning of this hurricane season because of this message that we've gotten out? Absolutely. Absolutely. I do. I feel safer. We first met Moore in the weeks after Ida in 2021. We almost lost our entire immediate family. And we didn't even know it could happen. The culprit, their whole home generator that allowed carbon monoxide and odorless, colorless gas to seep into their home. You still think we've done something wrong. How did we let that happen? And uh, to our knowledge, we did everything right. Our combating carbon stories highlighted the many homeowners this happened to. It never was really a, a problem that um, gained a lot of attention because it was so sporadic. But after Ida, people sat for days and weeks without power, with their generators cranking. All of the homeowners we spoke to could have been killed from the poisonous gas that crept into their homes. Nobody said anything. No company, no installer, no, uh, you know, departments. The Consumer Product Safety Commission took notice. And when we get a report uh, of a potential injury or a potential for an injury to a consumer, that's where we step in. Last month, it released a report detailing the risks of generators. It included information about what happened after Ida. It even mentioned our stories. The report says, considering the information provided by the state fire marshal, as well as news articles on the matter, staff initiated a more formal effort to investigate these incidents. The CPSC investigation found carbon monoxide alarms help prevent injuries and likely save lives. While this report mentioned whole home generators, it only offered a proposed rule on portable generators. The spokesperson saying the carbon monoxide death data the agency has is almost entirely due to portable generators. The recommendation for manufacturers to make portable generators that produce less carbon monoxide and shut off automatically when emissions reach a dangerous level. The federal agency tells us staff is currently drafting a report about incidents with whole home generators, but that's not yet complete. But State Fire Marshal Chief Dan Wallace sees this as a step forward in solving this deadly problem. The fact that the federal agencies have become aware, and, and, and it very well may have been from, from the law that we passed in the state of Louisiana, and certainly the incidents that we've experienced here in the state of Louisiana, I think that it's a, it's a, a, a piece that will have uh, positive results for many, many years to come. The law Chief Wallace refers to is the measure that went into effect on January 1st, a direct result of our Combating Carbon series. Now every home bought or sold in Louisiana is required to have working carbon monoxide detectors. Wallace says his office has received a flood of calls about it. The majority of our calls are coming from people that either own or manage rental properties. Uh, realtors that, that have homes that are for sale, and we do have calls that, be, that come from homeowners. And questions such as how many do we need to install, uh, do we need to install more than one, and, and questions of those, more of the mechanical side of things. All of the inquiries, he says, are positive. I think that um, the fact that between the passing of the law and the educational piece, 
I believe people are, are aware, completely aware, and at that point, they usually act, and when they act, based on their awareness and their education, we become safer, and they become safer. Do you think lives will be saved? 100%, absolutely, without a question. Lynn Moore hopes so. She's become an advocate of sorts, supporting the law change and speaking to the Consumer Product Safety Commission about her experience with the generator and the deadly gas that she says nearly cost her her life. You've been following this whole issue every step of the way. Right. Why? Because I almost lost my family. And I don't want it to happen to somebody else. At home, they've added more carbon monoxide detectors inside. And outside? My son-in-law caulked the windows, even if they've already been caulked. They suggested doing it again. And then we put sealant up here on the soffits. To keep gas out of their home. For more, the awareness about this deadly problem continues. My fear is that if we don't continue to talk about it, you don't continue to air it, um, and other people don't, that one person is not going to see or hear, and they're going to not know that they had carbon monoxide. It could save a you know, life. We Moore says hers was saved, and those of her precious grandbabies. All three, let's smush <laughs> I got it. She said, oh, give me that. The recommendations by the Consumer Product Safety Commission on portable generators are now published in the Federal Register. Another change as a result of our stories, installers of new whole home generators must make sure the house has working carbon monoxide alarms in order to install that generator.